I want to, in as many ways possible, nudge you, push you, uh, encourage you to start doing video creation if you're not already doing it, if you are doing it, to do more of it. Uh, and, and that goes for myself included. I'm trying to do more video um, just because it works so well. So why would I limit myself to one video a week when I could do one a day, right? It, there's no reason to not do this stuff as long as each video has some kind of piece of value for the people watching. So the main idea behind this is to, to get you in the habit of creating videos. But the real kind of hidden benefit is if you follow this particular example I'm going to show you right now, um, you'll build the no and no like trust factor with your prospects and it makes it easier to sell. Because I, I talked about earlier that strategy I use in the, the kind of the five day course method, if you're delivering a five day mini course and each email sends them their, their lesson and exercise of the day. And then you have a, a PS statement or a second link in your email saying, by the way, watch this additional video I made for you. A certain percentage of those people are going to watch that video and connect with you at a deeper level. So this kind of follows that methodology. Here is an overall process. You certainly don't have to follow this exactly, but it's simple. You find some kind of PLR content that you want to share. You extract a few short bullets or ideas from that into a slide deck. You make a video where you narrate the article over those slides, and then you record a short uh, personal branding video from your smartphone. Uh, and, and then what you're going to do is blend all of this together into a very quick video. This whole process, you could really pull off in like 10, 15 minutes if you get in the habit of doing it. So let me show you a little bit more of an example of how this would work. So I recorded this. Let me actually, no, let me do this. So I have this article here. Uh, I'll make it a bit bigger. So how does that look, Chad? Can you see? The yep, we can, I can read it. So I just I found one from our, uh, one of our packages. Um, I just like the theme. Five reasons storytelling is vital in starting a movement. So I like the theme of storytelling. I know it works. And I just wanted to communicate. Here's, you know, here's five, you know, reasons why four, five, or sorry, five reasons why storytelling uh, is something you might want to try, right? They inspire, they give, um, they give you a plan, they stay in people's memories, they engage emotions, and then they, uh, people want a happy ending. So your stories with happy endings can give people what they want, <laughs> right? So what I did was I thought to myself, okay, how can I create a really cool quick tip video? something to post up to my Instagram page if it was under a minute or post on Facebook or share it on my blog, on my YouTube channel or all of those different things. Well, and um, I, I want to personally brand it. So all I would do is I would create a video like so and I just here, let me play it. I don't know if you're going to hear it, but I created it just before I started this webinar. Hey, it's Justin Popovich here. Today I want to share a, a quick tip with you about the power of storytelling and how you can use storytelling to leave an impression on people and actually inspire change. Check it out. Okay, so what was that? 11 seconds, one take, pretending like I was walking in the front door of my house, but I did <laughs> <laughs> So, um, So then I just, I go over here and I don't even narrate the whole article. I just narrate the five points. So if I read, and I may, like I, if I wanna get this under a minute for Instagram, then I may go and purge some text here so it's shorter, but let's not worry about the length of it. And then I would narrate this into audio and then I would blend it into, now this app here that I was showing you is ScreenFlow. Um, you can use ScreenFlow if you're on a Mac and you can use Camtasia if you're on a Mac or a PC. And both Chad and I strongly recommend one or the other. There are plenty of other apps that allow you to create videos where you're blending text and slides and you're recording a demo or whatever. Those are the two apps that we are always going to talk about in our demos and webinars because they are the best. Mm -hmm. um, and we're just going to encourage you to learn them. And if not, then try to follow the principles with the app that that's of your choice. But we can't cater to all of the different apps. We're, we've just chosen ScreenFlow and in future webinars, Chat will demo some Camtasia as well, because that's going to cover about 90% of our audience. So just try your best to follow along if you're not using that. Now, a um, couple of ways of could do this. So I could pop this article open right now and just literally record it into Audacity. I could record it right in Camtasia or ScreenFlow and then just not record my screen. It would have, have it just pick up my microphone. Uh, or what I've done already is I built this slide deck here. Uh, super, super simple. I could probably use Google Docs and go to the, their slide templates and get something nicer looking. How storytelling, how storytelling helps start movements. I'm tripping with my words here. Uh, and then I just took the five points, slide one, two, three, four, five, and then I added the first slide at the end as well, okay? All I need to do is have this slide on the screen while I narrate 
this block of text, so on and so forth, right? This slide, well, I narrate this block. And at the end of it, we've got a video with me introducing it on camera and then me narrating it. Very powerful personal branding next to no talent required here, right? You need to be able to read and shoot an 11 second video where you pretend to walk in the front door of your house, <laughs> okay? Um, and then, and that's it. So another way I would do it is like, I've already exported these slides here. So I would grab these and put them right into Camtasia slash ScreenFlow. So I can just drag and drop them here. And I would, in this case, I would take that first slide and I would put it at the end of my personal branding stuff there. And then what I could do is actually just leave this on the screen while I narrate it. So I could hit record and, uh, or actually, yeah, there's a number, the number of ways I could do it, but I could literally just hit record here. Uh, hi. And then you can uh, <laughs> uh, just, just narrate it and it saves it. Let me do, just do it really quickly here. Powerful story will help people to relate uh, your cause to their own life. Charts, graph, and data that shows disaster is just around the corner will only scare people. If you can tell a story with that data that also gives them something they can do in response to that data, you will inspire support and action. Okay, stop it, add it to my existing document, and then, oh, I didn't, did I not record the audio from that? Oh yeah, I did. I detached the audio here. Don't worry about the techie stuff here, guys, but there we have the audio. And now I just lined it up. So that audio goes this long. So I would line that slide up here. I'll kind of bring this up so people can see on my screen share. Now, sometimes what I do actually is I go into um, slide deck mode here and I would have screen flow uh, record. So I would literally press this and then I would, I would start a full video record in screen flow mm -hmm. and I, I would narrate uh, into my microphone so that ScreenFlow is recording both the slide and my voice at the same time. The challenge for that is you either need dual screen so that you can have the script on another part of your screen, or in my case, I use a laptop to run my entire business. So I'm holding right now my, um, uh, my iPhone in my hand. So I could easily just text that those five points to myself. I could pull it up on a shared, you know, Dropbox, whatever. I could email it to myself, whatever, and then narrate it into my mic. So right now you're literally staring at what my screen flow would be recording. I could start narrating this article right now. I would read point number one, finish that. I'd go boom, read point number two, read point number three. And at the end, my video would be done. That process, if I were to narrate it, that length of article, literally 60 to 90 seconds, well, maybe, maybe 120 seconds, right? Combine that with my 11 second intro. I'm literally done this entire video in, in under five minutes, right? And now I simply, I have this, all this stuff collected in here. I just go file, export to MP4. I can upload that immediately to YouTube, to Facebook. I can take part of it and upload it to Instagram. Uh, I have video options here. But to me, this is a, an awesome example because it gives you that personal branding element without you needing to be great on camera yet, right? It's, that's the whole concept of quick video. Everybody can shoot a selfie video. You may not feel comfortable, may not like looking at yourself on camera, but if you wanna give yourself a competitive advantage and if you are personally branded, if you're selling yourself as the expert, then you need to start doing this because people need to realize who they're learning from. The more they see you on camera speaking, the better they are, uh, the, better, the better they will be uh, in terms of feeling connected to you, right? So you could try this, right? With five PLR articles, we send out articles every single week. You could try it with the next five that we send out and have five quick tip videos in no time at all. Uh, does that make sense? Do you think I hit it all okay there? Yeah, Jim? that's great. And it, and it gives you the opportunity to be able to uh, edit the actual content middle part to make it sound perfect and the way you want it with no ums and ahs if you're really worried about that, but only having that intro and outro to worry about being on camera for. And using your phone is nothing wrong with using your phone. You know, smartphones these days, if you have a newer iPhone or an Android phone, the cameras on those are HD quality and uh, can still look really nice. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I've seen people that run, clearly have massive video marketing ad budgets because I see their ads all the time. And half of their ads are, he's holding his cell phone and talking into it. So uh, it, it obviously works, right? Personal branding is not, you don't have to do stuff like over the top production quality value. That has its place, but not for this kind of stuff. These, these are quick videos. But what I like about the example, again, just to reinforce this point one last time, is um, 
Creating video can it take place in a number of different ways. Uh, building your own course, which was sort of the main theme of today's webinar, will very likely require video creation. It doesn't have to. It, it, there, there are cases where it could be audio or just text-based, but you'll likely get uh, a better deliverable and a better customer experience if you do have videos. So get into the habit of creating them. These would be a, this example I gave you today would be a great way of building a series of videos to promote a, uh, a video course, right? So don't let uh, you know your lack of techie knowledge or your lack of confidence in the camera stop you from trying a method like this.